I was working in my medium sized glue book today. This is a glue book that Cindy Signsetter of Artsy Endeavors sent to me in some happy mail. And I was glue booking one day and she said, Mary, put that kangaroo on the cover. So I did. <laughs> so I always think of Cindy Signsetter when I see the cover of this glue book. So I'll do a little flip here. I wanted to show you this. Look at this. It's a bowl, a fancy bowl. See, there's the base of the bowl right there. And I fussy cut it out, but I pulled it out of my images here today and I looked at it and I said, lips. <laughs> Dueled lips. <laughs> That's what I saw. That really is a bowl, but it looks just like some lips. So I'm going to use it for lips. These were just some images that I put in this little cellophane pocket here that I have. Well, actually, it's right here. I make these little envelopes out of wax paper to keep my fussy cut images in, and these just happen to be medium to small ones that I can put in my glue book. So that's where these come from. Remember, as far as anybody knows, we're a normal family. <laughs> and then there were some pictures of families here and a grandmother and a daughter. Looks like they're making tea or something there. And what's this? Oh, here's the teacup. <laughs> This one I folded up like a map. That's a part of a hat. Ooh, this one's kind of stuck together. This was waxed paper. Ooh, I kind of glued it together. This was waxed paper that I used on one of my projects. And it was just like drop paper. And I saved it because it was gold, and I saved the shiny blue. And then I just glued it down. It'll be a background page. Just gluing mostly little scraps that I have in here. Not all of these are scraps. Some of these things are sent to me in Happy Mail. But there's one of my art tiles that didn't make the giveaway. That's my little stamp. Got a lady sitting next to her. And these pages aren't finished, but I'm just basically glued images down in this book. And I'll be going back and adding more to this, probably in my live sessions. Or in this case, I was watching Aunt Beck's live session and I wanted to keep my hands busy. So I started gluing some of these images that I have down in here. This is one we did in one of our live sessions. I like her a lot. So it's taking shape. It is growing. And I like this page a lot. And that's the end of it. Now, what I want to talk about in this session that I ran across was this. This is just one of my little scissors when I make my Friday night, when I have my ATC best hand. I stamp this image out. I carve that scissor stamp, and I stamp out an image, and sometimes I don't cut them right, or I don't like how it's stamped, and I'll have a lot of these that are just scrap. This one... I spilled ink on. I didn't want to throw it away, so I made a little tag out of it, and it goes right in this pocket here, right there. But this is what I want to talk about. See what I've started doing? These little scrap images here? I didn't want to glue them down, so I made what I'm going to call glue book scrap in, um, charms. Glue book, glue book charms, little scrap Scrappy charms out of glue book images. <laughs> so I'm going to make a couple of these tonight. 
I thought what I would do is make a flap out of this. I start out by creating a little pocket on the side out of my scissors stamped image there, stapling it in, and then I'm creating a tag that will go inside of it. I punch three little holes on this tag because it's going to hold my scrap journal charms. Now this page needs some color so I get out the red ink and you'll see that I put red ink on the tag and on the scissors and eventually it'll go all over that page. I like that little image of a jar. Actually that's the back of the jar but I like the back better than the front. Now I'm choosing some items for my tag ties and I decide to use that red crochet thread again so I loop it several times and tie it through the center of the tag, the center hole of the tag. And now I'm making my little scrap journal charms just out of little scraps of paper that I had that really could be thrown away or they were the small fussy cut images and I'm just gluing them on the tag ties. I have a shoe there. That shoe was so fun to do because on the back I found a little saying that says home is where they run to greet you. Now I'm making a tag tie, an unconventional tag tie, out of a strip that I cut from a pink plastic bag. I really want this tag to be unconventional to go with the scrap journal charms. I'm really having fun creating this tag. I fit it into the pocket and then I decide to put more items on my blue book page. It's just not quite done, so there's the more red ink. I put red ink all over this page. I really do like how bright it is. I love those FW inks. I'll be getting more of those when these are finished. I'm, I'm in love with them. So now I'm working... Oh, I put a bingo card on there and kind of fussing with my tag and I decide it needs more. So I staple those envelopes on there and oh, I decide it needs red. So I smoosh red on the back and I get it on the front. So I smoosh it on the front too. I smoosh it every place, even on my fingers. <laughs> and some of it gets on that shoe. Oh, well, it's just a glue book image. It's fun. Now I'm making a little insert to put on that pocket of that tag. That's Wonder Woman, and I believe that's uh, Elizabeth Taylor. Kind of cleaning up my area, getting ready to put everything in the glue book. Now I'm just fussing with it, fussy, fussy, fussy with it. I want those red tie tags to go up and shoot out up at the top of the journal page so I'm just fussing with it to get it to go the way I want it. I really like how this page turned out. So fun. I will be making more of those little scrap journal charms. My page is finished. The idea here was to make some glue book charms out of scrap papers that you have instead of gluing them down. Like this was a little inchy that I had left over. My fingers are red with ink but that's because I was playing on the page. This was just the back of a Tim Holtz photo card. I fussy cut out the image and I had this little scrap piece so I like it. And here are some images. I don't know card game images out of that I fussy cut for a glue book. But they make really fun little charms for this tag. Now I have a pocket over here that this is going to go in. This will really go over in here like this. But I want to put it with this page for the purposes of this video. This is the one that I made tonight. I put red ink on the back of this. I made a little pocket here holder. And I made a tag out of some smaller images that will just fit in here. I cut some tag ties out of a plastic sack just to for fun for something that's unconventional. And on this tag, these are my glue book charms. I had this shoe. <laughs> Looks like he stepped in some red paint. But uh he didn't start out that way. <laughs> I got messy with the, the ink. But I love it on the back. It says, 
Home is where someone runs to greet you, and it just fit with this shoe. And then I have a, a postage stamp image here and another little inchy image. And I made a pocket out of another scissors card that I'd cut here, and it'll fit right in here. So that is a fun way to do some unconventional things for your glue books. If you have scrap images that you were probably going to toss anyway, tie them onto a thread and make some glue book charms. Junk journal charms. How fun this has been. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.